singer and I'm a badass. I grew up in lots of different places in New York, between New York City and Westchester. I spent a lot of time um, playing outside, so I think that's probably where I got the, the fundamentals of my value system, which is spending time in the woods and um, you know spending time in nature. I've always been passionate, even from when I was young, about social justice and environmental justice was something that uh, I was opened up to through reading Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, which is all about the effects of DDT on bird populations, human populations in the environment. And that's really what started me on my uh, sustainability path. Went to college, didn't know what to study and started uh, taking an environmental studies course instead of like most of my classes, you know, paying attention 50% and being in and out of, you know, daydreaming. I studied environmental science and really dove into that field because it's what made me feel the most excited. It's what I wanted to talk to people about. It's like what I wanted to like flow out of me. It was kind of my first introduction also into the idea of doing things that make you happy and that make you light up as opposed to doing things that people tell you to do. And I think listening to my gut and pursuing that was really what led me to do all the things that I'm doing today. The average American produces about 4.4 pounds of trash per person per day. You multiply that by one year alone, and that's thousands of pounds of waste that goes into a landfill. Uh, waste that contributes to methane and, and helps to expedite global warming. I look at zero waste from the point of view of an individual, so that means I as a person don't send any trash to landfill, but I do compost and I do recycle, but I recycle as a last resort because it's very energy, chemical, and water intensive. So by making simple changes, even a few small changes to reduce your waste, if everybody did that, it would have such a positive impact on the environment. Most people didn't even notice I was wearing the same clothes, I did my hair the same way, my style was the same, um, but there were little things that changed, like instead of having a single-use coffee cup every day, I'd have a mason jar, and people started asking questions, or I'd start collecting my food scraps in a jar, and the jar was really what started so much of it. People started asking questions, but this thing happens when you start talking about sustainability where even though I'm not necessarily judging anyone or criticizing the way someone lives, by learning about how I live, people are automatically uh, predisposed to, to start judging themselves. And it can cause like these conversations that might feel awkward or confusing to people. And so that's why I started my blog, Trashes for Tossers, because I wanted to show all of the things that I was doing from a day-to-day -day basis in a way that felt really approachable and safe and not overwhelming. I was making all these products on my blog and there were all these people that wanted to use the products that I was making, but they were like, you clearly have no life if you have time to make all of your own products. I quit my job to start Simply Co, a three ingredient organic vegan laundry detergent company to provide people with a product that I feel like we all deserve. Didn't really know what I was doing at all. Actually started the Kickstarter, went on a road trip and it was funded in 24 hours and then I basically woke up in the Pacific Northwest and I was like, well, I guess I have a, a company now and I have to make product. And that was really my, my dive, my like head first dive into business. 10 years ago when I was studying environmental science, I could count on my fingers and toes the community of people who were passionate about sustainability. Being in the consumer product space really helped me learn about all of the other people who, like me, care about environmental sustainability, want to have a positive impact on the environment, so they started companies to, to solve various environmental problems. But I realized there wasn't one place where you could go to get all of these really cool sustainable products. So Package Free was really born as a way to make it easy and convenient to find all of the products that help you live a low waste lifestyle and also to give a collective discovery power and amplify these really amazing brands that were having really positive impact on the planet. One of my favorite quotes is when you're no longer able to change a situation, you are challenged to change yourself. This is week five for me of work from home in quarantine and I've had to 
release a lot of control. Like so many people in this time, we don't have control of where we can go, who we can see, how we run our companies. I feel like as a collective humanity, we're, we're reverting back to doing things ourselves, like making more food at home, uh, baking bread, learning how to do things like gardening. These are all practices that are so sustainable. And I hope that some of the habits that we form during this time uh, stay with so many of us. Anyone who seeks to solve a problem, improve the world, use their power as an individual to make positive impact, that's a badass. I feel like listening to my gut, pursuing the things that feel important to me, and really not caring what other people think feels pretty badass.